Are you guys making up for this today? Mm -hmm. I will love you forever if you do that. Everybody look for the AC kit. Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. Uh, this next little series that I'm going to be doing, let me kind of talk about what we did uh, this spring. I teach uh, film production at a community college in Utah called Salt Lake Community College. A professor, another professor and I had a chance to rent a 35 millimeter film motion picture camera. So we thought it would be a good experience to bring one of those in and uh, and actually buy some film and shoot some some stuff on film rather than digital. A lot of the, pretty much all the concepts are the same as shooting to digital uh, cinema cameras as shooting to a film camera. In fact, that's where a lot of the concepts uh, that, that's where a lot of the settings and concepts came from in the in the new digital cameras like the Red or Alexa is based on uh, years and years and years of uh, film technology, uh, motion picture film. And we were able to rent the camera from a, a uh, from a Utah rental house facility called uh, Redmond Movies and Stories. It's, it's kind of the rental house uh, for film for uh, large scale film production side of Utah in Utah. And uh, the camera that they were able to secure for us was the uh, AiriCam LT camera, which is kind of an upgrade from the earlier AiriCam uh, regular camera that had that, that was not blimped, meaning uh, it, w it wasn't as good for sync sound. If you're recording sound, it was good for just kind of visuals when you're shooting visuals. Uh, but this camera is, was great for recording uh, for shooting film and the so camera was very very quiet you could not hear the rotors running and our sound turned out really nice as a result since we were shooting uh seeing a dialogue Now the project that we did was just a short scene of dialogue. The script was written uh, that was just a, um, actually by our associate dean. That was just like a short script as a script screenwriting exercise that we thought would be a good minute and a half uh, project to shoot on film because it is rather expensive. The 35 millimeter film, we got a bit of a student discount on it. It cost us around $1,500 uh, just for the film, which was approximately 24 minutes of footage that we were able to shoot uh, across four rolls, uh, four rolls of film. So about seven minutes, uh, so we'd run about six to seven minutes of uh, footage on each roll of film, then we would have to swap out the film. And then the processing was another issue. So we had, we had, we spent another $1,500 to have the negatives processed and then transferred uh, to 4K DPX files. So essentially, for all intents and purposes, the DPX files are raw files. They're going to retain the most amount, uh, the most amount of information that you can basically get from film. It's like one of the highest quality raw files that you can get. But those files are huge. For 24 minutes of footage, which it basically equated in DPX format, to, to a bit over a terabyte of space, of hard drive space. So uh, they're qu it's quite bulky file format, but it's a pretty, it's a raw quality. It's it's, it's pretty um, high quality, which is a lot of hard drive space for that much, for that much time, especially by uh, digital camera standards these days, depending on what file format you're shooting into. So what I'm going to be doing in this series here, I'm going to be co covering the uh, post-production process from beginning to end. Basically what we had to go through after we th got through shooting the movie, talk a little bit about, about the film transfer here and there, but this is based this, but this is mainly going to be the post-production process from film to digital to the digital transfer, uh, online, offline uh, editing, you know, from high quality to, to proxy editing, all the way through uh, editing the, a scene of dialogue and kind of finishing it up, sending it over to DaVinci Resolve for a color grade. And we'll even be covering a little bit of sound mixing. So this is going to be a kind of a multi-part series where I'm going to be going through those steps, each one kind of divided up into its own module. And you can see it uh, inside this playlist here. And you can see that in this 35 millimeter to post-production uh, playlist that I've created, that I have created. Hey, this is good. This is really good. <laughs> Thanks. 